excited and I'm happy for you because this is a brand new year filled with 365 opportunities for you to leave an indelible mark on the sands of time and I'm especially happy for you. You know why? Because a lot of challenges came your way in the previous year. They all came to destroy you. They all came to take away your life. But look at you. You are just here right there and you are strong. You are alive in a time like this. I am so, so delighted and happy that you made it into this year. One thing that I like you to do is to be grateful first and foremost because in, honest, in all honesty, people died in the previous year and it's not because you were smarter than them or, or nicer than them or, or uh, better than them or richer than them that you are still standing all right so for that just be happy just be excited just be grateful for all that god has done for you i want to encourage you and i want to challenge you this year is that year you have waited for this year is that year you have prayed for because god is going to give you the blessings of seven years in this one year i like you to just get up tell yourself oh i can make it tell yourself i'm going to challenge every challenge that has come my way i am going to surmount them i am going to overcome every obstacle on my way because this year is my year can i hear you say it out loud say it this year is my year i cannot contain my excitement right now because i know i am so excited that you made it into this year and if you made it into this year it means that god has a plan for you in this year but most importantly you need to have a plan for yourself all right so god has a plan for you but it is very very important that you also have a plan for yourself because god has given you power to do certain things and god will not do everything he has already given you power to equally do all right so today i'll be sharing with you seven things you must do in this new year seven things you must do in this year i like to share with you number one and I, I hope you're ready and I hope you have something to write it down so if you don't have please quickly quickly get something a pen and a paper or uh, you, if you want to type on your phone go ahead and do that but by all means make sure that you take down the seven things you must do in this new year are you ready yeah number one thing you must do in this new year is that you need a vision you need a vision what is a vision vision is the mental picture of your preferred future vision is the power that is the force that drives focus vision is the force that drives your focus see as a matter of fact when you have vision vision selects some things for you vision decides what works in your life and what should not work in your life vision selects your friend vision selects your choices vision makes choices for you vision determines the people who will hang in around you so ask yourself what is your vision in case you have had vision in the past and then you want to continue working on that vision please by all means work on that vision but please tell yourself i need a vision i need a vision for this year i can't do all things the same old ways and expect new results because i don't want to appear that foolish all right so but you need a vision you need something that will drive your focus you need a mental picture of your preferred future you need to know where you are going to because vision is key vision is life vision is like a divine blueprint of consigning your life handed down by god himself so you need to know what the vision is and if you're here and you're asking oh how do i get to know what my vision is ask in prayer ask in prayer and god will reveal to you the reason the essence of which he brought you here on earth because every one of us we are created to be something all right god has no non-entities created he created only celebrities that will be celebrated round about their vision so i want you to discover your vision and pursue after it nobody will pursue your vision much more than you nobody will pursue your vision much more than you so next time you you think you think about your vision tell yourself this vision i'm going to pursue it i'm going to do all that i should do in order to make my vision come true all right you cannot afford to be like a desicle around your vision no you cannot afford to sleep in the time when you should be casting vision the time to cast your vision is now so please develop your vision and work it out because this year mm, 
you must shine this year you must be celebrated this year you must get that peak that you have always desired and you can do that without a vision so what do you want to do differently what do you want to change what change do you want to bring about here on earth what difference do you want to make? And the time to make that difference is now. Now is the time to make that difference. So think about your vision and begin to walk around it. And please, let me tell you this. Uh, the moment you discover your vision, that moment you discover your vision is the moment that you discover the enemies of your vision. So the enemies of my vision might not be the enemies of your vision. You have to be very smart about it and discover the enemies of your vision and avoid them, all right? So that you, your vision will speak vision is meant to speak and your vision will eventually speak it doesn't matter how long you have at it and how long you have been working on it your vision will speak so number two thing you have to do in this new year is that you have to work on your mentality your mentality is the set of beliefs that you have your mentality is the way you think is the way your mind functions is the set of beliefs that you have is the is your mindset so you have to think about your life. Proverbs 23 verse 7 says, as a man thinketh in his heart, as a woman thinketh in her heart, so is she. So you have to think about your life this season. You have to think about your life in this year. What do you want to achieve? What do you want to see in your life? Because your mentality is your state of mind. Your mentality is your way of thinking. Your mentality is your mindset and the set of belief system with which you surround yourself. And there are several things that feed your mind and you have to work on this several things because you cannot allow yourself to think shabbily in this year number one is your background your background determines how you think your background uh, can be described as the things that you went through all the things that happened in your past when you were growing up and the rest of that these are your background but your background cannot keep your back on the ground the number two thing that uh, can feed your mind is your environment your environment determines what functions around you all right the, the songs you hear the, the the voices you hear around you the people around you it's very important that you are careful about your environment see you can be in the world but you don't uh, you don't have to allow the world to be in you you can be in the world but you cannot be of the world so please i want to encourage you mind watch your mind watch your mentality because your mentality is something else you have to think about develop the right mentality so please don't forget number one i said define your vision and number two you have to develop your mentality number three thing that feeds your mind is your experience your experience has to do with all the things that you went through in life all the things that are happening to you right now so please i want to encourage you don't allow the things happening to you to decide who you are all right don't allow the pain the challenges the frustrations to become you they are just experiences and those experiences are not you so i would always tell people that you can enter this pot of boiling water and come out like the potato and become too soft in a way that you are demotivated you are not encouraged to do anything in life you are not willing to do anything about yourself or about your life or you can come out from this boiling hot water like the egg that is so hardened and bitter and locked up you don't want to reach out to anybody you don't want to become useful to anyone else because you are offended because you are sad about the things that you have gone through because you are frustrated and so you lock up you become hard you don't want to teach anybody else you don't want to impact anybody else you cannot do that to your mentality or you can come out from the boiling hot water like coffee coffee gets into boiling hot water and then what does it do it mixes with the water and turns out beautiful into something else that is drinkable that is desired so tell yourself no matter what experiences i go through this year i am coming out beautiful i am coming out wonderful this year is my year can you say it wherever you are oh if you are watching me right now say it wherever you are this year is my year it is your year i believe it so much so you have to develop the right mentality the bible says guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life number three thing you must do in this new year is that you have to reevaluate your relationships reevaluate your relationships oh dear i know that there are people so close to you there are people that you have been with for a very long time in your life but you need to ask yourself if this relationship is not adding to me then it is subtracting from me in this year 
know who to call your friends. In this year, know to who to call your closest associates because you cannot keep dealing with the same people that are taking away time from you. If you are at the airport and you want to catch up a flight, you cannot spend your time discussing with somebody who is going nowhere. You may miss your flight and you don't want to miss your flight, right? So please make sure that you reevaluate your relationships. Your relationships are your associations and your association determines your acceleration in life and destiny. So you don't want to miss out in life and destiny. Be careful of your relationships. There are people that you drag into your life that are slowing you down. There are people that you drag into your life that are making you a bitter person. There are people that you drag into your life that are making you sad and unhappy. But there are people that when you bring into your life, they give you speed. They push you forward. They help you have the right priorities and they help you hit your targets early so please go do well to put the right people in your life there are four relationships that are very key that i like everyone to know about the first is family family is everything no matter how popular how nice how sophisticated you are please be connected to your family so don't be big and living large and living expensive and then you leave your family in the village and then your father is tying a rapper that has holes everywhere your father is tying a rapper that has holes everywhere and then you are claiming a big boy or a big girl in the city that's not a way to live relate with your siblings relate with your brothers and your sisters and live happily all right they may not be the best set of people around you but they are a family and you really can't do anything about it so love them unconditionally the second people you have to relate with are called friends and some of these friends are, are people that have been with you over time or over a period of time but please make sure that the people you truly call friends are those who are productive in your life are those who are useful in your life are those who are adding value to your life every day don't spend time with friends who are taking away everything from you who are wasting your time and making you see negativity everywhere please abhor negativity this year there's a there's already a lot of negativity around so make sure that that negativity does not come anywhere around you so abhor it chase it away very far from you the third set of people that you should be in a relationship with are called mentors mentors they could be spiritual mentors or secular mentors whether whichever category of um, mentorship that they offer you in life make sure that you are drinking from the right mentors people who can offer you value who can offer you wisdom knowledge and skills from their mistakes because they have made this mistake so that you won't have to make that mistake so make sure that this year you don't move without your mentors because without your mentors you become tormented without mentors you become tormented so please i want to encourage you make sure that you move move with your mentors make sure that you have a relationship with your mentors number four kind of people that you have to be in a relationship with are called your mentees so as you drink also do well to give to others to drink so please don't be selfish about the graces of God upon your life. Don't be selfish about your skills and your wisdom and the knowledge that you have. You have something to give to this generation. So go ahead and give them something to live by. All right. So pour into the next generation as you drink in pour into the next generation. So please, your relationships should be redefined, reevaluate your relationship. And this is very key because you want to step up and you want to move forward. Number four thing that you have to do in this new year is that you have to engage in capacity development. Develop your capacity. Develop your capacity. Stretch. Stretch yourself because capacity is a measure of your maximum ability or it is a measure of your maximum volume. So when we talk about capacity, we're talking about your maximum ability or your maximum volume. Your maximum ability to do something and your maximum volume to carry something. So increase your capacity. Engage in capacity development this year. Learn a new skill. Attend conferences. Attend seminars. Go for online schools, online education. Go to school. Go to a regular uh, school. Learn something new. All right. If you stop somewhere in your education, please do well to go back to school and learn more. Knowledge is power. Engage in capacity development. Improve on yourself. All right. And this year, make sure that you learn a skill. Make sure you learn a skill. There are a lot of skills to learn. There are hard skills. There are soft skills that you have to learn. Some of the soft skills that you can learn could be uh, emotional uh, intelligence skills. You could learn uh, communication skills, leadership skills, and the rest of that. And then for hard skills you need to learn management skills you need to learn presentation skills uh, man uh, marketing skills and several other skills so please go for your soft skills 
and your hard skills and don't forget to engage in multiple streams of income because this is very key you need to have active income and passive income and for active income you have to be there to work to make the money for passive income you don't necessarily have to be there to make the money so this year make sure that you engage in capacity development develop your mind develop your income through multiple streams of income and develop your skills so that you know you have more things to do you have more things that you can do in order to make your life beautiful number five thing that you need to do in this year is that you need to maximize your time this year has started and it's already running oh check the time and you agree with me that this year that just started is already running so maximize your time maximize your time stop wasting time avoid time wasters procrastination is the thief of time whatever you have to do today do it today don't procrastinate for tomorrow you don't own tomorrow tomorrow is not promised so today is what you have do everything you have to do as soon as you can tick 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 says the clock whatsoever you have to do do it quick so i am talking to you the moment you finish watching this video run and begin to do something with yourself maximize your time don't waste all your time watching movies don't waste all your time just in the way with your friends and family don't waste all your time just whiling away and looking at the clouds time is going and the time is fast just think about it when last we say happy new year for the previous year and then just like that the year has come to an end now this is a new year you cannot wait anymore maximize your time let me share with you there are four stages of time that everyone truly has four stages of time now watch this carefully and when you are done watching in the comment section do well to tell me the exact stage that you are in all right so just let's just be truthful about us about this matter tell me the exact stage you are in will you be honest with me all right let me shoot there are four stages of time for everyone here on earth the first stage is called the morning stage or the morning time as you want to call it so this stage is between uh, zero years to 25 years and this stage is the stage of discovery many people are trying to discover who they are know what they are capable of doing and know the potentials they carry so this age is the age of discovery a lot of people at this stage of discovery are able to discover their vision for life they're able to discover their spouse they want to marry and the person they want to settle down with for the rest of their life some at this stage are able to discover their path in life so this is the age of discovery and if you're already 25 years and you have not discovered you're already running late because by this time you should have known what you are here to do on earth so please i want to encourage you if you're in the morning stage buckle up buckle up buckle up and maximize your time so number two stage of time is called the afternoon time and this is between the ages of 26 to 50 years 26 to 50 years and this is the age of uh, maximum achievement this is the age where you have discovered your vision in the first uh, segment you have already understood the person you are going to probably settle down with and this is the time you have to do what achieve your dream achieve your dream achieve your vision whatever it is that god has laid it into your heart you have to work hard towards it and you have to maximize this time because like i said tick tick says the clock whatever you have to do do it quick so please work very fast concerning this time the number three stage of time that you need to work on is called the evening time and this evening time is between 51 and 75 51 and 75 and in this stage is the stage for legacy and mentoring so at this stage you should be living out your legacy you should be packaging things that people in the next generation will benefit from and you should be mentoring others pouring in your wealth of knowledge into others so they can equally grow and um, the next stage and the final one is called the night time the night time or the night stage is between the ages of 76 and 100 or both depending on how long you get to live here on earth and this is a stage of rest at this stage you should be resting taking your exercise eating looking at your legacy looking at everything that you have been able to accomplish and be happy and keep mentoring because mentoring does not end until you pass away from this earth so maximize your time time waits for nobody time is not waiting for you I'm telling you, you that you are watching this video right now, time is not waiting for you. So whatever you have to do, do it now. So number 16 that you must do this year is that you have to take care of your health. Take care of your health. Take care of yourself. Nobody will take care of you for you. Oh, hmm. 
Don't I not tell you in this beautiful year, take care of yourself. Add it to one of your plans, okay? Add it to one of your goals. Add it to one of the things that you want to do. As I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. This year, we must take care of ourselves, okay? This year, we must take care of ourselves because nobody will do this work for us. Take care of yourself because if health is lost, everything is lost. Money can be recovered, wealth can be recovered. Listen to me, when health is lost, everything is lost. Take good care of your health. You may acquire the whole world and then you lose your health. And if you lose your health, you have lost yourself. So please don't lose you. No matter what you do, don't lose you. I'm saying again, no matter what you do, don't lose you. Eat fruits, eat vegetables, eat things that are healthy. I know there are some things that are yummy, but they may not be necessary for you. But no matter what you do, just try. I know it is a struggle. It's difficult. Sometimes our taste buds we want to eat something nice. But please, by all means, try to eat healthy. Eat fruits, eat vegetables, eat what is right for you. And exercise, all right? Make it regular. Exercise as much as you can. This year, I am engaging in a... Uh, exercises i'm going to take it up as a commitment you to do the same because we have to take care of ourselves and if we don't take care of this body what else with what else do we reach the world with what else are we able to communicate with our world all right our world needs us and we need our body so please let's make sure we take care of our health and finally my last word and the start the seventh word the seventh thing that you have to do in this year the seventh thing you have to do in this year is that you have to commit to spiritual growth grow spiritually all right try to work on your spirit man worship god the more this year pray the more this year and study the word of god see there is a vacuum that only the spirit of god can fill in our hearts and we have to develop that level of spirituality we have to develop that level of spirituality by drawing closer to God because God said in his word John chapter 5 and 15 verse 5 that he is divine and we are the branches and without him we can do nothing so if you know you can do nothing without God it is earlier it's a, it's a good time for you to know that you have to buckle up and draw closer to God not just because of what you will get from him but because he is your source and is your sustainer so this year serve God the more go to church be committed in church don't just be a, a church goer be a church member and serve in the church. Serve faithfully. The Bible says that he or she who puts his hand up to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom. So this year, serve the Lord. Be committed in the house of God. Do everything that you can to make God famous, to make Jesus known, and God will bless you exceedingly and abundantly. So these are the few thoughts I decided to share with you in this new year. And I believe so much in my heart that you will take them to heart and that you begin to do each and every one of them so that you can succeed in this year. You want to succeed in this year, right? These are the seven things you must do this year in order to succeed. So please, these are the few things I wanted to share with you. And I know that you imbibe them and you begin to run with them. And then I can't wait to hear your success story at the end of this year. I can't wait to hear your success story because I know you will succeed. You will blossom. You will flourish. You will enjoy on every side. And God's best will be released for you now and forevermore in jesus name i love you so much do have a beautiful year god bless you bye